Hello. So Redis was voted recently as the most loved database by developers. Redis is super fast. It's simple, easy to learn. Redis has support to different simple data structures that we can use to build even more complicated data structures. But while I was using Redis for a side project two years ago, I thought to myself, actually, Redis is cool, but if it only had support also for graphs. And this is when I stopped working on my side project and started another side project. I do that every weekend, basically. <laughs> and um, after spending some time reading the source code of Redis, I managed to add some simple Redis commands to create graphs. The first one is to actually add nodes to the graphs. The other one is to actually connect the nodes of the graphs by values, by edges with values. Some query commands, um, like um, to ask for the neighbors of some graph node, uh, to ask for common neighbors of two nodes, and even you can create some directed graphs. So how this is working behind the scenes? Redis is hiding some internal data structures behind these main data structures, like lists are implemented by quick lists, hashes are implemented by zip list or hash tables, depends on the size of the hash. So what I did when I added graphs, I reused these internal data structures so that I avo avoid writing graphs uh, from scratch. So to make this task more challenging, I, added, I decided to add shortest path algorithm using that Dijkstra algorithm. But for this algorithm to be fast, I, have, I need a priority queue. But implementing priority queue in C would be another side project. Yes, Redis is written in C. So I discovered later that sorted sets are actually implemented using skip lists, which is really fast for inserting and removing elements from um, sorted data structure. And this is exactly what I needed. This is how basically sorted lists are working. So I used the skip list of the sorted list, uh, sorted sets, sorry, uh, within only the lifetime of the shortest path command. Uh, like, uh, not for storing the graph, only within the lifetime of the command. Some other commands that actually are also um, implemented inside the project, there's minimum spanning tree, there's the page rank algorithm. These are supported also, they are implemented inside the project. Um, the source code of the project is already on GitHub. You can visit the home page of the project for more documentation and more information. Uh, you can, if there's a public Docker image, you can play with it quickly. And that was it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.